Okay, thank you very much. I'm, my name is Rio. I'm doing PhD in ATSET, Barcelona. So today I would like to introduce an alternative index to understand past buff, trend and behavior. So normally to understand fast bus trend and behavior, we can adjust. Okay. Uh, we normally check these two indexes. Indexes. One is for quantum, the proportion of childless population, and for timing, the average age at fast path. And now most of the developed developed countries, those two indices are increasing. So which means people tend to remain childless and on, on the same, at the same time, people tend to postpone their first birth. Uh, so this childless, childlessness and postponing have a different consequence, which is becoming mother or not, and different effects for aggregate fertility, female life course, and social policy. So this is really important to separate remaining childless and postponing fast birth and to ask which phenomena mainly happens and also how does it differ by bus cohorts and countries those two are, are research questions in my paper to approach these research questions uh, those two common indices doesn't fun uh, don't function really well because the quantum the the population, the proportion of childless population captures all women. On the other hand, the timing, the average age at first birth, captures only women who have had children. And, and also, as I said before, those two are increasing, so we cannot say which is mainly happening. So we have to have an index to combine quantum and timing for all population. And we invent a new index using really traditional demographic method, which is life expectancy, and we call expected years without children, and we call EYWC. Let's see the equation to understand more. So life expectancy, the event focus is death, and uh, the, the equation is like this, we, I think all of us know from A0 to infinity and survival function of death. And our EYWC event focus is fast but and the, the integral of age 15 to age 50. This is a reproduction period and survival function of fast but. So this is really like a parallel. And graphically, EYWC understand these two lines it's a survival function of first birth. This is an example of Canada, and the line one is even the, the survival function of 1940, and the colored one is 1962. So the, the area below the survival function is EYWC. So this is captures uh, the timing and the quantum, which is the last part of uh, level and the advantages of EYWC is similar as life expectancy because we use the idea of life expectancy one is to combine with quantum and timing and second the, this index is for all population so 15 plus EYWC equal the expected age at the first part for all population, not only the who have uh, children. And lastly, this is a value to be able to compare through time and country. Uh, so the calculate EYWC uh, mainly a survival function similar to life expectancy, we can calculate by life table. But for the for the purpose of the composition, we used Cole-McLean model to estimate survival function. Uh, which is, oh, sorry. Yeah, which it is. And we decompose the changes of EYWC over time 
into these three factors. One is C, the proportion of ever had a child, we call scale factor. And the second one is mu, age at first birth, location factor. And the lastly, the orange one, sigma, standard deviation of average age at first birth, the variance factor. Data, we used human fertility database. Uh, we selected eight countries who have completed cohorts for long time span. And precisely we used female population exposure and birth counts by birth order. And both of them are vertical or nexus <coughs> data. And then we checked the horizontal nexus data, but the result, will not, with result did not change so much. I will show you later. And this is uh, the EYWC trend from all the observed cohorts. Uh, we can see five groups by different colors. The orange one, Canada, Netherlands, and the United States uh, have U-shape increased from uh, around 90-40 bath cohorts. And Czech Republic, black one, stagnant. Sorry, stagnated out of the uh, cohorts in Japan, Norway, increased in all of the cohorts, and Portugal, yellow one, stagnated also but increased in, in the current cohorts, and lastly, Sweden increased fast and currently in plateau. So, uh, check. Uh, the results. Uh, the latest birth cohorts, the UAWC, is Canada, Japan, and the Netherlands spent 70.5 years, which means reproduction, reproductive period is 35 years. So Canada, Japan, Netherlands spent half of reproductive, reproduct, reproductive periods without any children, which means they have only half for future children. And let me check the time. Okay. And okay. So this is the result of the composition. Let me explain how to interpret this graph. The the blue sorry okay blue one uh, is the contribution of scale into the cha changes in the EYWC over time. Yellow is the location, the effect of location, and sigma, uh, the orange one, is the effect of variance. And each bar, each bar is the changes in the EYWC of, for example, this one, EYWC of 1940 birth cohort, and 1945 of cohort. And then the size of bar or the pod is the, the size of contribution. So we can see, I will say four things. Uh, Canada, Netherlands, Norway, Sweden, and the United States, the location parameter is the biggest. The yellow one is the biggest, which means post-formant was mainly occurred in the cohort, in the past cohorts. And nextly, the Japan and Portugal, Japan and Portugal, a relatively blue color is uh, the biggest, which means uh, childlessness was mainly happened. And thirdly, the variance, the orange one did not affect so much, except the United States. And lastly, Netherlands and Sweden may have a negative impact of scale. And this is a discussion. So, as I said last, as I said at last, the Netherlands and Sweden show a negative value for the scale factor in the most recent cohort. This means uh, the, the proportion of childless decreased in the, the, the recent cohort. And this was shown by these two current research. 
And second, the high contribution of scale factor in Japan, we inspected the strong linkage between nuptiality and fertility it may be a key to understand. The, the birth rate outside of marriage in 2015, even 2015 is really low, only 2% comparing to other Western countries. And the, the proportion of never married women at age 50 in 2015 is 14%. So the large contribution of the scale factor is maybe largely due to uh, the marriage program. And thirdly, the relatively high variance in the U US may be related to high heterogeneity by socioeconomic status. And summary of the future research. So uh, this paper introduced an alternative index to understand the first birth trend. And secondly, we quantified the effect of remaining childless postponing uh, first birth and variance. And for the future research, I'm really interested in checking EYWC by subpopulation, like educational level, union status, marriage cohabitation, LAT, and single, and so on, and race and ethnicity. And also, I'm interested in checking variants of EYWC. This is similar as Allison, current research Allison in science, nature, I forgot. And, and also, maybe it's uh, it's also applicable to other life events. And for the further information, we uploaded the preprint version in Social Archive. So if you're interested in, please check it. Thank you very much.